tell me about yourself so what do you do so what other things you have come across so far how is your uh, journey as a mentor been um well i have completed my graduation in the year 2019 uh, in engineering stream there after that i was very much passionate in terms of working in the startup field because uh, in the startup field you learn everything from the scratch in the graduation what happens we learn the academic stuff but when you enter into the corporate world you learn the business you learn the uh, art of dealing with people you learn the how exactly you need to understand the market demand and supply so many business opportunity in the aspects so i did for 6 months i got a pretty good uh, pretty much good experience and then i moved into uh, corporate world i entered into education and uh, education and uh, technology sector i worked in the byju's byju's the learning app as a mentoring and uh, guiding students then after that i got a uh, uh, you know one more offer from vedantu vedantu live tutoring platform so i worked there for one year okay. after that uh, i am looking for a leadership role i am looking for a kind of promotion then i got on i got that opportunity in an academy okay. so i did the there for one year so after doing a three years of uh, job i thought manoj that's enough let me do something on your own that is where uh, i came into this public speaking and communication domain where uh, I started training students while I was in college only, like you know, while I was in second year, third year of engineering. I used to go various colleges, like you know, uh, various degree colleges to be precisely, BA, BSc, BCom, BBA, BCA. I used to train the students in terms of how to clear the interview, how effectively they can able to communicate their ideas. So in this regard, so initially I used to do it for free, but later on, later on, later on, when I got experience, even the colleges used to pay me money, like you know, without asking from myself. So yeah, so far so good. So everything was going smooth and fine. So right now, I used to conduct uh, one-on-one coaching and also group coaching via virtual mode. Okay, okay, that's nice. Uh, so so that's when you, uh, <laughs> you know, as a student, if when you are addressing uh, or when you are training the students, so uh-huh. what different? Like, how do you, um, you know, uh, handle um, that crowd? You're you're already a student, and you're handling another student, a group of students. So how do you do that? Now well, initially, what happens, uh, uh, like you know, one advantage of me is that I can easily connect with them because they are almost to my age. Because uh, while I was training the, uh, like you know, UG and PG students, especially the PG, MBA, and MCom, they are almost similar to my age. I can easily give the examples which they can connect to me. One thing. Second thing is that I can easily understand what are the problems they are going through. Because you no, know, every age group has a similar problem. Okay. Second thing, and third thing is that I can easily build a good relationship. Like you know, I can easily connect with them in terms of uh, taking the basic examples. And more importantly, I am very much comfortable uh, in addressing these students. And they didn't never felt like uh, okay, Manoj has uh, no experience, and this guy is coming and telling us what does he know? Those kind of negative initially, things didn't come. Obviously, initially they might have thought in that way. <laughs> But later on, when I got experience, when I used to show my VTs and all, uh, when I visited so many different colleges, I got a pretty much good experience. So I used to share what are the learnings which I have learned from various colleges, like you know maybe positive good experience and also negative good experience, negative experiences. And from that, they understand that okay, this person has something to uh, share. So he has some knowledge, like you know he has entered into the corporate world, he has been in there in the market. So let me listen for his words, what he is trying to convey. Okay. Then later on, I got a pretty much good grip in the, you know, addressing the audience and capturing their attention, because attention is very very important. Uh, people have a lot of deviation, lot of distraction. So once you can capture the atten- attention in the beginning, obviously they can listen you for one or two hours. Any anything any uh, incident where uh, there was a change over in you, or uh, you you just felt like okay, uh, the approach what I'm putting across is not. Uh, Giving me the actual yield, something some, somewhere that has uh, transformed you or changed you for better or influenced you in any way. Initially, yeah. So every time what happens, whenever I conduct a session, I always uh, love to take the feedback because if I have a feedback, I can able to convert that feedback into feed forward. Yes. So. Like you know, initially what happens? Uh, I used to go to colleges and I used to like you know, uh, uh, what you can say. I used to have a PPTs. I used to run the PPTs and I used to explain the slides. Uh, one session happened. What happens? Uh, one of the you know, uh, boy told me, sir, you are explaining everything which is in the PPT. Can you tell me some personal experience which you have undergone in your life? So then I thought, okay, so what are the experience which I need to share right now? So in the moment I thought, but I took a pause for five minutes. Then I shared. 
at that time i understood that it is not just you know uh, going through the ppt you have to share the real life experiences that right. is where the deep connection will build upon so then yes. i started sharing the you know i stopped the ppts i stopped right. the ppts whenever i go for go to the colleges first thing i do is that i always try to connect within 5 to 10 minutes with the audience second thing is that i make kind of a group interaction see monologue i don't like monologue i am explaining everything and they are listening and uh, i mean they are not uh, you know responding okay. i like dialogue i used to interact with them i used to include them in my conversation okay. in terms of making some group activities okay. and trying to give the task to them so they have to move around they have to do some task in my conversation activity building workshops okay nice so in yes. this regard i changed my approach